Hi, and welcome to the latest edition of How To Tuesday. Today, we're going to go over configuring your 1203 USB cable and connected component workbench. This will allow us to communicate from our PC to our PowerFlex drives. Hi, I'm Alex Nolan with Royal Industrial Solutions, part of the Industrial Solutions Network. Let's get started with configuring our 1203 USB. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the 1203 USB driver downloaded onto your PC. You can find this through the Rockwell Product Compatibility and Download Center. Next, we're going to want to open Connected Component Workbench and create a profile under the communication drivers. So we'll go to the Communications tab, and then select from available driver types the RS-232 DF1 devices. Then we'll click Add New. I like to rename it to 1203 USB, so we all know exactly what it is later. From here, we're going to need to determine what COM port our computer is communicating with the 1203 USB on. We need to make sure that 1203 USB is connected via USB to our computer before we try to do this. Then, we'll open Device Manager. Go down to Ports. And we'll see that on my laptop, it's on COM3. That may not necessarily be the case with yours, so it's very important that you check this step. Now, we can select COM3, and under device, we'll choose the 1770KF2-1785KE scan port. Finally, we'll change the baud rate to 115,200. We'll leave everything else alone and just click OK. We've now created the driver. Now, we'll determine which DSi cable we need to use. If we're on a PowerFlex 7 series drive, we'll use the DSi cable with the round port on it. If we're working with a compact class drive, like a PowerFlex 520, we'll use the DSi cable with the RJ45 port on it. We're using a 520 today, so we'll use this one. We'll plug the DSi cable end into the bottom of our 1203 USB, and then we'll connect this end to the DSi port. It's really important that we pick the DSi port, especially on a 525. It's easy to get confused and plug it into the Ethernet IP. This one won't work. Now, back in CCW, we can click on Discover. Expand our 1203 USB tree. And here we've detected an AB DSi device. We'll highlight it and click OK. We're now communicating with our drive. If we double click on the device, our drive profile will show up in CCW. Now we're ready to program. Thanks everyone and have a great day.